We are on the outskirts of Brighton in Sussex at a station that is rumoured to be the home of three separate hauntings, some of which have left unsuspecting witnesses quaking with fear. This is Tracks Into the Unknown. The next station is Moldscombe. Moleskoom Station was opened in May 1980, less than two miles on the outskirts of Brighton in Sussex. It was the first completely new station to be built on the southern region after Dr Beeching's axe fell on Britain's railway network in the 1960s. There are two platforms at Moleskoom, with Platform 1 serving westbound services to Brighton. Crossing the footbridge to Platform 2, passengers can board eastbound services towards Lewis, Seaford and Hastings. Down the steps from Platform 1 sits the University of Brighton's Moleskoom campus. Built between 1962 and 1963, it is the largest of the university's five campuses with over 8,000 students. Back up at the station there are believed to be three separate hauntings. One night, after an evening out in Brighton, two young women had walked the couple of miles to Moleskoom. They sat down in the waiting room to chat about the evening when they noticed an elderly man on the opposite platform walking towards the footbridge which links the two platforms. The two became apprehensive as the gentleman failed to appear on their platform. Fearing for his safety, they went over to the opposite platform but the man had simply vanished. Upon returning to the waiting room, the two sat down again but were interrupted by what sounded like an animal grunting, almost like a pig squealing. The noise seemed to get closer and louder. To reassure the other, one got up to investigate and satisfied that all was clear, they went to return to their friend in the waiting room, but when they got outside something appeared to screech past their head. Gripped by terror, both women got to the stairs leading down from platform one, but as they reached the top they felt the presence behind them and they heard the animal grunts once again. Quaking with fear and with tears streaming down their faces, the two women made their way home, bringing an end to their trauma at Moleskoom. On another occasion, the parents of a University of Brighton student had arrived early for an appointment with their son. The father, having an interest in railways, fancied a look around the station. The couple were there for roughly an hour, wandering around the platform and taking photos. They were just about to leave when they distinctly heard the sound of a steam train approaching. Standing on the platform to see if a train would arrive, they caught sight of the same elderly man that the two young women had seen previously. The elderly man was completely oblivious to the couple trying to attract his attention. The sound of the steam train that they had heard got closer as if to announce the train's arrival, but within moments the sound ceased and the platform seemed quiet once again. The couple were about to make their way to the appointment they had with their son, but remembered the elderly man on the opposite platform. The father went over to the platform where the man had been seen, but there was nobody there. Could it be that the elderly man had finally caught the train he'd been after? at Molescombe Station.